Sweet potato pie is a classic Southern favorite. It tastes a little like pumpkin pie because it uses some of the same spices, but a sweet potato pie from scratch is far easier to make than pumpkin pie. Plus, sweet potatoes are plentiful all year round and are easier to handle than whole pumpkins. Start with whole sweet potatoes. These sweet orange flesh tubers look similar to regular potatoes. Or, if you're short on time, you can use a can of unseasoned sweet potato puree. Here's what you need to make a sweet potato pie. One nine inch unbaked pie crust. Three to four whole sweet potatoes. Plus, depending on your recipe, softened butter, milk, heavy cream or evaporated milk, granulated sugar, eggs, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract. And you'll also need these tools large mixing bowl, electric mixer or heavy wire whisk, spatula, pie plate, colander. Okay, let's get started. Position a rack in the center of the oven and preheat the oven to 350. Next, prepare the pie crust so it's ready to hit the oven once the filling is done. Place one unbaked pie crust in a nine inch pie pan. A disposable aluminum pan will work, but glass, ceramic, or metal pie pans are easier to transport and handle, so you don't squash or drop your pie. For added crunch and flavor, experiment with adding crushed ginger snaps or chopped pecans to the crust. Just sprinkle them over the crust and press gently so they stick to the bottom. And now for the filling. If you're using raw sweet potatoes, drop the potatoes into a cold pot, then bring to a boil. Cooked covered until tender, about 30 minutes. The potatoes are pie ready when you can easily pierce them with a fork. Drain and rinse with cold water until the potatoes are cool enough to touch. Then remove the skins. Put the sweet potatoes in a large mixing bowl, add the softened butter and blend until creamy. If you forgot to take the butter out of the refrigerator to soften ahead of time, here's a little shortcut. Cut it into smaller chunks and microwave for about 15 seconds. If you don't have an electric mixer, a heavy wire whisk will do the job just fine. Following your recipe, stir the remaining ingredients. Beat until the filling is blended and smooth. Then pour the filling into the pie crust. Now all that's left is the baking and of course the eating. Place the pie in the center of the oven and bake according to your recipe. Baking times range from 40 to 60 minutes. Custard pies like pumpkin and sweet potato are prone to cracking when overbaked or baked at too high heat. So here's a tip, bake your pie until a knife inserted in the center comes out almost but not completely clean. It will continue to set as it cools and you won't have to contend with any cracks. Place the pie on a rack to cool for 30 to 45 minutes. Whether you serve it with ice cream, whipped cream, or another southern favorite, bourbon whipped cream, one thing is for sure, you don't have to hail from the south to love sweet potato pie.